hi, my name's uh, Greg Werner. I'm co-founder of Illumidesk. And Illumidesk is an education and technology platform that helps instructors provide better content faster uh, for their learners. So we're unique because we allow instructors to add interactive components such as live programming exercises, analysis of data sets, and other use cases such as cybersecurity and data science so that the teaching experience or learning experience is uh, more interactive. Uh, we tried a few vendors and uh, because we're very focused on uh, the programming, cybersecurity, and data science world, we just thought it would be a logical choice to keep our back end in Python and Django Stars fit the bill for that skill set. And additionally, one of the things that was attractive about Django Stars was the end to end project solution, not just delivering a senior, medium, or junior level programmer. It was truly a scrum team as a service, if you will. And um, the other thing that was very attractive for, for me in particular was the developers were also, in a sense, product managers. So whenever they thought they had a better way of doing things, there was some discussion internally with the team and myself and our team. And I think that's just a healthy dynamic to improve the product, not only once we get end user feedback, but also with our own internal tool chains to you know, deploy the application, et cetera. The, the user experience is always front and center. And I really appreciate the constructive feedback that we get from the Django Stars team. It's more than just offering constructive feedback on perhaps better ways to do things. But it, I do feel like the Django Stars team that's been assigned to our project is truly vested in the, in the success of the product. They actually really care, which is, you know, is very rare these days. These software factories work as more like robots. You send them the specification and they give you an output and that's it. But um, in this case, it's much more involved. And I think that's a great thing, especially for an early stage company such as ourselves. solution that we have, or that we started with rather, is uh, highly dependent on cloud resources uh, for each user. For example, if you're a learner and you need to move through an exercise to analyze a data set, that information has to be stored in memory and should probably have a dedicated CPU for that user just because they're crunching um, a data set of memory. It's also called a data frame. And that's just one of many examples. So um, what we liked about Django Stars solution is that during the discovery phase, um, Django Stars was quickly able to um, understand the challenges that a solution like ours presents when managing cloud resources and how to optimize costs. As you know, some of these cloud environments that offer interfaces with dedicated CPU and RAM, such as you know notebook services in the cloud, et cetera, have had a difficult time offering a freemium model or even a trial of a paid version just because it's so expensive to operate for each user. So during the discovery phase, we found that the Django Stars team was able to come up with some creative solutions to optimize our costs and um, also to improve the uh, customer experience. Solutions provided or the proposals provided by Django Stars in order to move towards a more secure and flexible front end using TypeScript was also extremely helpful. So it's not only the Django web framework as we all know it, but it's also how does that integrate with other systems including, as I mentioned, the front end, which is TypeScript and React, but also other microservices. So the Django Stars team provided us with some pragmatic solutions for using other Python frameworks that are lighter and more purpose-built for the microservice architecture, such as Fast API or Flask or AWS Chalice. So we found that to be a good balance of 
optimizing um, our solution to use battle-tested products, but also be flexible enough so that we could support a cloud-first architecture. So our own Illumi Dust team, we're, you know, we have members in Boston, Denver. I'm personally located in Atlanta. We have not found any issues from the time zone perspective. The Django Stars team is very flexible to meet with us late morning our time, which is obviously end of day for Western and Eastern Europe. And as long as we have an hour or two to do handoffs and you know have certain discussions or to go over simple things like user stories, then we've had no issues whatsoever with communication. Obviously, I wish I could fly over there and have a meeting and meet everybody in person, and hopefully that'll happen soon. But, you know, in the meantime, we're remote first company. We've always been that way. So it's the developer exchange and the product management exchange that we have between Illumi Desk and Django Stars is pretty seamless. Yes, I would. From a pragmatic standpoint, the service is, is really good. Uh, the engineering is good and the processes are good. And I think that's when you hire a third party, a strategic third party to help you with your technology stack. That's first and foremost. My concern is that the assets being delivered are high quality, maintainable and at a, and a good price point. I would recommend Django Stars just for the reasons I mentioned previously, that ability to not be shy with their clients and provide constructive criticism and have open discussions without the trepidation that comes with upset my client because I said this. It's it's really for the end goal of improving the product. You know, that's important to me personally. And then the third one is you guys are inspirational with everything that's going on the, over there in the Ukraine and you guys continue to work as if nothing's going on. And it's it's uh, inspirational for all of us, particularly myself. So, you know, I would recommend Django Stars to anybody.